So anybody who's read the books is going to kind of have their own vision of each of these characters. You know, Hamish is kind of like haunted but wise, and Effie is well-intentioned but a selfish. little loopy, a little selfish. She's kind of like the citizens of, of the capital. She in a way. is, yeah. And then you are just subliminal revolutionary artist. Oh, I like that. <laughs> wow. I think by I like that is a good yeah, description. Great. I like that. Yeah. How do you guys see your characters? What drew you to them in the first place? You were a fan of the book. Yeah, I was a fan of the book. I think Effie is just a great, fun, theatrical, over-the-top, you know, she's a bit of the villain of the piece. I don't get to do that very often. And, and I was really attracted to the full physical transformation that I got to make. And, and then working with these fine fellers, mm. that was a great part of it. And Jennifer, amazing. Just, you know. What about Josh? You didn't mention him. I love Josh. <laughs> I, I don't want. I don't want to give away my full heart for mm. Josh. Right, right. Well, that's. I'm that's keeping it for myself. What did you like about Hamish? Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, I like that he uh, he he appears to be one thing. You know, this uh, level of curmudgeon cynicism, and then at the same time, underneath it all, he really cares. I like that kind of. Uh, you know, that dichotomy of elements, kind of. Yeah. How about you? I mean, I thought Cinna was a really great character. Um, like you said, you know, he works for the capital. He's part of the system. He's there to do his job. Um, but there's a rebel inside of him. And you can, you can tell if the revolution was about to jump off, he'd be in it, you know. And um, he's doing his best to stay within his limits, but also to, to put his heart out. You know, to Katniss, he's really invested in in, in her and, and really wants her to survive because he's really fallen for her yeah. as, as, as a friend, as somebody that he admires. Did you guys ever see The Running Man? Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I love that movie. Um, I feel like one of the themes in this is obviously society's attraction to voyeurism and violence. Mm. And I feel like it's actually, we're not quite at the point that we're going to put teenagers in a ring and let them kill themselves. That's Although, next season. <laughs> but do you feel like it actually is reflecting things that are in our world and in our culture? Sure. Most, most definitely. Vividly. Yeah, I mean, I remember getting a, a link to uh, the bum videos where they were paying, like, bums to beat the crap out of each other. That's pretty gnarly stuff. Really? Like, yeah, we don't really need that on our How much can on you my make? YouTube. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You're giving him ideas. Oh. So I think it's very, uh, I think it's very, um, it's in the zeitgeist, everything that's going on in this movie. You know, this is a, it's rebellious teenagers. I mean, that's number one. That's a, that's a classic. And then we've got these world politics all around us, you know, all these oppressive governments that are being questioned and, um, I th and, and people using the media, you know, using YouTube videos to get people to join in. Um, I think it's, there's so much going on in this movie that people can relate to in, in our world right now.